Hey guys, Colgan here with Ruri Shot. This is one of the few Japanese indie games that I picked up recently, so I thought I'd do a quick video on it just to show you what the game is like. It's a bit of a weird game, to be honest. We control this character here, her name is Ruri, and we try to help the girl up here on the top right send her pink hearts to the guy up here on the left. The pink hearts increase his love meter, and the blue hearts which all the other girls send will deplete his love meter. Now we can left click to fire a pink bullet, and the pink bullets inflate the hearts. But you can inflate the hearts too much to the point where they'll burst, so you need to be careful. The bigger the heart, the better the effect it has when it reaches them. Now you can also right click to fire those blue bullets. And those blue bullets will cause the hearts to turn to ice, they'll fall and shatter. So you need to be very careful there. When they fall and shatter, they can hit you and stun you. We're also doing this while trying to avoid being hit by all the girls in the school throwing stuff at us. You do have limited ammo, so you need to be careful. You need to stand near the fountain, which will recharge your ammo. Now, the yellow bar on the top left is the love meter, and the white bar beneath it is the timer that you have per level. I've only played it for about 20 minutes so far. I've only made it to level 2. So I'm not very good at it, but, but a bit of practice. You can buy it for about, I think, 3 euro or something. It's a very cheap game. It's only like a 9 MB download too, so it's a very small game. There's not much variety in it. There's only, I think, 3 levels. And the levels, it's pretty much the same map every time. The only difference is the time of day will change. So I think we almost have the meter filled now. Just need to be careful about these last hearts. We should make it to level 2 at least. Now we can also do a special attack which I haven't mentioned yet. You can use your middle mouse button to unleash a gust of wind. You have to charge it. You can unleash a gust of wind and that will float all the hearts in the direction you're aiming. And it will also flip up all the skirts of the characters around you. So. It's got that typical Japanese vibe to it. So we're on level 2 now. I've got a few other indie games that I picked up. You may have seen the demo I done of Shin Kohime Muso. I managed to pick up a copy of that. So I'm gonna play through the arcade mode, the story mode and that and see how far I can get or see if I can beat it. And I also managed to get a copy of Magical Battle Festa, which is a game I've been looking forward to for quite some time now. Managed to get a copy of it, it's still shrink wrapped right beside me, it just arrived in the mail today. And I'm debating whether or not to open it, I really want to play it, but at the same time... You know, it's almost impossible to get games like that outside of Japan, so I'm thinking maybe I should just leave it and... Sell it on eBay for about 10 times the price I paid for it. So... I don't think I'm going to survive much. I haven't made it this far before. And it's going to get really hectic soon. To stop all these blue hearts here. I'll also be doing a video of a game called Ez Beta, which is a, another Japanese indie game that was cancelled. If you like, I think Zone of the Enders or something, you'd probably like that game. I'll be doing that one soon. Can't believe I'm doing this well. I'll be doing a few other Japanese indie games soon. I've been looking around at quite a lot of them. and I'll probably be doing a game called Fort Defense soon too. It's made by the guys that done Royal Defense. So we're gonna... Try to take out these blue hearts here. We don't want the love meter going down any more than it already is. It's really hectic. I mean... There's so much micromanaging to do. You're trying to keep your eye on not only all the hearts, but everything that's happening on the ground too, while keeping an eye on your health. And there's just so much to keep your eye on. There's way too much micromanaging to do. So we got to level three. I done horribly there in level two. And I just dread to see what level three is gonna be like. So as I said about the levels, there's only three levels, not much difference. The only thing that changes is the time of day, really. There's 
daytime with the blue sky, evening with the orange sky, and nighttime with the black sky. So there's not much variety in the game. You see here just how hectic it's getting. They're throwing everything at me now. I've only got two bars of health left. Now you do carry your health over to every level. Like let's say I end this level with two bars of health. I'm going to start level four with two bars of health. So it's really difficult. So once you die you're pretty much sent straight back to level one. And there I go. I lost 80,000 points. So it's not bad for I think my third attempt at playing the game. Let's see where that put me on the leaderboard. Seventh place. Just add in my name here and check all the other high scores. Yeah, not bad. Third place. I, I don't think I'll ever get first place in this game. In fact, I don't think I'm going to play this game again. I, I don't really like it, to be honest. It's just not fun. There's just so much going on that... It just it's hectic at times. In fact, it's hectic all the time. There's just too much micromanaging going on to actually make the game fun. So I'm going to leave this one here and I'll be doing some of the other indie games I got pretty soon. Thanks for watching.